You know, sometimes you just can't tell if what kind of film you're watching. If it's a, an S and M film or an Indiana Jones film, it just matters how many times you see somebody crack a whip. It's a show by Chris and Neil with all great movies. They are the real deal. We watch them all so you don't have to. It's movies that don't suck and some that do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listeners of all ages, it's a new episode of Movies That Don't Suck and Some To Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. And today we got two, count them, two, yes, two movies that people are talking about out there Mm -hmm. in the world, and we're going to review them. First is going to be the movie The Outlaws, starring the one, the only, James Bond himself, the greatest Bond of all time, if you ask him in the movie. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Piers Bronson. I don't know anything about that car. And I'm only interested in your mother if she lost 20 pounds in 30 years. So I'd really like it if you just got the fuck away from me. Thank you very much. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye. Skadoodle. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Smell ya. Shouldn't have to tell ya. I think it's from the Matador. The what? The Matador. No, I do. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but there is not like a whole scene where Pierce Brosnan is giving a, a soliloquy where I can use more than thirty seconds at a time. So I just took something that I thought was the funniest. Oh no, 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 no! I understand this <laughs> issue now. You know what this issue is like <laughs> yeah. in my life when I do this. Uh, also, in this uh, wonderful movie is the beautiful, talented Einar because she's in the best of the three. Promotions 13, <laughs> Ellen Barkin. We each have our own joy ceiling. It doesn't matter how much fucking money you have or how perfect your family is or how many Pulitzers you win. You hit your joy ceiling and you're done. That's why Jesus wept. Low joy ceiling. <laughs> Richard Simmons, high joy ceiling. <laughs> and that fucking monk, what's his name? Tick knock whatever the fuck. Very high joy ceiling. Tom Payne, low joy ceiling. It's not the pursuit of happiness that's our problem. It's our inability to accept when we have maxed out. You think you're not happy? Trust me, Tom. You couldn't possibly be happier. I love that scene. I took it from Happy-ish. What movie is it from? It's from a show called Happy-ish. Oh, yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. Totally get that. Um, This person put on line saying that we need adult... uh, adult water parks were bars, no kids and awesome, crazy rides. Okay. Well, I like water parks. They're my favorite. Anyway, also in this movie, um, the talented, the one, the only, you'd know him from workaholics, uh, the righteous Jim stones. Perfect. All those movies. It's your perfect. The guy always plays a douchebag. Usually Mm -hmm. uh, like a kind hearted douchebag Mm -hmm. is the best way to, to say it. Um, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit too. Mr. Adam Devine. The thing everyone hates about Anders is his disrespect for women. You know, he treats chicks like second grade citizens and they're not. Natalie Portman went to Harvard and she's smart as shit. She's super smart. How did you get in here? If I were Anders, I'd punch you in the face for asking something like that. But I'm not. Thank God I'm Adam and I love women, all women. All shapes and sizes. I just love them. Love them. Blake asked me the other day how to spell if. You gonna trust that level of smartness with a multi-thousand dollar corp? Adam, I think we're done. Oh, and Alice, it's IF. I, if you didn't know. Yeah, from workaholics. <laughs> Yeah, Workaholics is great. It's a good show. Um, yeah, but that's the first movie we'll be talking about. Netflix is The Outlaws. Next, we're going to be talking about a movie that is 42 years in the making. Do you <laughs> understand the first Indiana Jones came out and I was barely even born yet? Do you, do you even think about that? Do you yeah, even know? It's a movie. 
Golden so Ring. we're going to be reviewing Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's the first one, though. You can't keep going. Oh. Yeah. Temple of Doom. No. You keep oh. going. Last Crusade? You're almost there, not quite. Keep going. Dial. Oh, wait a minute. It's, uh, no, that's the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. No, almost there, though. That was, that was okay, eight years okay. ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Young Chronicles? <laughs> no, not that either. Oh, oh, oh. Young Indiana Jones and the Spring Break Adventure? No. Is that Eric Stoltz right there? Uh, uh, Young Indiana Jones and the, the Oganda, the Giver and the Taker of Life? No. Yeah, keep going. It was, uh, okay. Daredevils <laughs> of the Desert? No, keep going. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Treasures of the Peacock's Eye. No, no, not that one either. The oh, wrong one. Uh, the Young Indiana Jones and Chronicles of the Adventure of His Lifetime. When the fuck is that? I'm like, that's oh, that's a, is that like a, that's the entire series. Okay, <laughs> so there it is. Yeah. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, one of the most famous pop culture icons of all freaking time yeah. indiana jones we're going to talk about that movie and me being a hoosier from indiana i'll tell you much more about what indiana jones means to the world i'm from mm-hmm. <laughs> chris where can they find oh, oh wait a minute i didn't even say the names of the people in the you movie i'm we're, so sorry we're moving on <laughs> uh, this is what happens this is what happens yeah. i blame chris yeah First, uh, playing a villain, obviously a Nazi, because that's what he's going to play every time you kind of see him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the one, the only, Mads Malkinson. I imagine what you see and learn touches everything else in your mind. Your values and decency are present, yet shocked at your associations, appalled at your dreams. No thoughts in the bone arena of your skull for things you love. Whose profile are you working on? Whose profile is he working on? I'm sorry, Will. Observing is what we do. Yeah, it's from uh, Hannibal. That's a great show. Yeah. It makes me happy every time I think about it. Who else is in Indiana Jones and the Destiny? The other person in this movie is none other than Sophia Waller Bridge. Phoebe Waller Bridge. Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> um, I said it wrong out of my head. Um, I think because my mother died and he can't talk about it and my sister and I didn't speak for a year because she thinks I tried to sleep with her husband and because I spent most of my adult life using sex to deflect from the screaming void inside my empty heart. I'm good at this. Although I don't really do that anymore. You close with your family? We get on with it. Do you talk? God, no. Any friends? Sorry? Any friends? Um... No, I don't really have time for... Well, I'll have a guinea pig, but she blows hot and cold. <laughs> Not a joke. That's from uh, Fleabag. Fleabag. That's an awesome movie. Television program. And, and the one... Huh? Television program. Fleabag. That's why I said television He's, program. Okay. I can't be on everything. You know? <laughs> I don't know all of it. All right. I, I was just trying. Yeah. I, I reach. I try to hit for the home run. I got a strike. It's yeah. okay. But anyway, uh, next, though, making his appearance in the movie, Antonio Banderas. Doctor, please. Relax! I am Puss in Boots! I laugh at death! <laughs> you see? And anyway, I am a cat. I have nine lives. <laughs> I picked Puss in Boots for Antonio Banderas. Uh, also, classic actors from the original trilogy like Karen Allen is in this Jonathan John Davies. Rains Davies is in it um, but not to be forgotten the one the only Indiana Jones himself Harrison Ford we are going to die X never ever marks this spot and X marks the spot I'm allowing you to tag along. So why don't you give your mouth a rest? Okay, doll? There's a big snake in the plane, John! You know how to fly, don't you? No. 
Do you? How hard can it be? So, uh, oh. <laughs> snakes. Why did it have to bring the snakes? Yeah, so I, I picked, uh, I found a bunch of quotes from Frankenstein again. Oh, right yeah, there. definitely. <laughs> of course. Indiana and Fried Chats. The thing is, two of those movies are two movies. Have you ever uh, played the game where um, what movies can you say without the end? Can you read the entire script without? watching the movie without having it in the background, without anything. Two of those movies are two Indiana Jones. Is it one of them Simple Doom, right? It's got to be. Temple of Doom for sure. Kalima, 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 Shabite. And what's the other one? Oh, Last Crusade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Last Crusade was my shit, man. I, I, as much as Raiders of the Lost Ark is a great movie. I'm with you, man. I'm uh, with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I think those were I two favorites. I just love the, the camaraderie oh, between dude. Harrison Ford and so Sean good. Connery. And, and constantly Classic. Harrison Ford and even Short Round, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. A temple, temple Short Round's awesome. Just think, that's his last movie before he won an Oscar. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy to think? We'll talk about that later. Too. We was in Cena, Hi, man. Chris, I know tell, that. But, uh, I know. Chris, you, Chris, tell them where we can find us. You can find us on online movies on Suck.net. We're at Facebook at Facebook.com. So it's on Suck Podcast. We're at W2Mnet.com. Well, uh, w number 2 mnetcom You can find our podcast along with a bunch of other cool podcasts there. Uh, we are also on uh, Instagram at MTS Podcast. We're on Twitter at MTS Podcast. We're at Bonfire. Bonfire comes to streaming zone. Suck and send you. You'll find uh, shirts with our stuff on it. Go to um, Patreon.com. Suck and zone. Suck. Guys, there's some, you know, give us some money. We like money. And we do this for free. So, uh, whatever. And then also, you can find us, uh, if you're watching Facebook, go and uh, like that page. Watch the YouTube and subscribe. And wherever you can find podcasts, you can know, find movies that don't suck. And some of the do. You no, know, what do we do for small businesses? Small businesses we like to advertise just like this. Mm-hmm. Just like this. <laughs> yeah. But um, if you didn't see that, that was Indiana Jones smiling. Anyway, we like to advertise small businesses. Um, I haven't got any messages recently from any small businesses, and I haven't really gone anywhere. So, therefore, we're just going to advertise something that I'm really looking forward to going to sooner or later because it's my favorite spot in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm talking about my hidden dive bar away from everyone else. My good old buddies at Crawl Pappies. Mm. Yeah, Crawl Pappies. Crawl Pappies is located at 3344 East 51st Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It is right off of 51st Street and Harvard. It has Crawl Daddies. It has all the good jumbo and all the good stuff you could eat. These are twice fried ri- uh, wings. Do you know what twice fried wings taste like? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I gotta go to Amazing. Find out. Yeah, they're the best. They are occasion themed. They always have uh, singers there, and their bar is always full. Wonderful food, great staff. Um, they have no social media presence whatsoever. Mm-hmm. They have an Instagram. So you can go to you can go to uh, Crawd Pappies at, uh, on Instagram, but they have no Facebook. They have no other way to get them. You just have to go one time to the place, and you can understand what I mean. I think you took it's me there. Didn't Crawl, you take me there? Yeah, you... Crawl Pappies Bar and Grill. No, I took you to Neff. Okay, sorry. Yep, and but um, Crawl Pappies Bar and Grill is what it is on Instagram. Again, anytime you're in Tulsa, go to Crawl Pappies Bar and Grill. It's the best hidden secret in all of Tulsa. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. I burped a little bit. Are you naked? No, I'm wearing at least a shirt. At very least. So. Okay. Yeah. You're, are you are you pooing it? Yeah. I'm are pooing. you Winnie the Pooing it, man? Yeah. 
Uh, I've done that before, not in the podcast, though. Then it uh, you're shirt cocking it? Are you shirt cocking it? Yeah, right shirt cocking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> um, because of you, I now know what a grown man with baby balls looks like. <laughs> man. Yeah. Um, Ted, anything happen? I mean, I know you your cast off. It's great. I got my cast off. Yes. I don't have a cast anymore. I can't move my arm worth the crap, but I don't have a cast anymore. Yeah. So, so yeah. I got about three weeks of physical therapy, right? Yeah. Um, and it just does not make sense why. <laughs> um, but anyway, no. Um, so, and probably about August, I'll be able to do stuff again, I guess. Sure, I got a pool too, which is now up and going. <laughs> My wife finally, uh, my wife got it up and going. My wife has been, uh, I love her to death. She literally has been working her ass off to keep the house going and everything. Mm -hmm. Cause I, that's usually my job. Yeah. When we leave a broker, I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she's been keeping it up and going. So I'm, I'm really appreciative of her. Oh, yeah. So if anybody knows my wife, say, say hi to her and say, thanks hi, for Dean. taking care of Neil. Thanks for so taking we, care of Neil in the house. So we don't we don't all die from <laughs> boredom without him in our world. Um, let's talk in laws. Uh, outlaws, yeah, outlaws. Oh, outlaws. <laughs> uh, directed, I, 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 you know, same thing. Directed by Tyler Spindell. Uh, he, he directed such things as uh, Love and Germophobia, or the he was directed the Wrong Missy. Yeah, if you remember the Wrong Missy, it came out like a couple years ago, twenty twenty mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, written by Evan Turner and Ben Zazov. This stars Adam Devine as Owen Browning. The thing everyone hates about Anders is his disrespect for women. Also, Pierce Brosnan as Billy McDermott. I don't know anything about that cop. Also, the beautiful Ellen Barkin as Lily McDermott. We each have our own joy ceiling. This also stars Nina Dobrev as Parker McDermott. Michael Rooker, the great Michael Rooker as Agent Holden. Uh, Puna Puna Jagannathan as Rehan, Richard Kind as Neil Browning. I like Richard Kind a lot. Julie Haggerty as Margie Brown. This also has Blake Anderson, also from um, uh, also from fucking workaholics. Uh, Julie Haggerty as Margie Browning, and um, Lily Ray Howery is in this as um Tyree and Lauren Lack as Sunny King. Why don't you let me the storyline for the Outlaws? A straight-laced bank manager about to marry the love of his life when his bank is held up by the infamous Coast Bandits. During his wedding week, he believes his future in-laws who just arrive in town are the infamous outlaws. This fucking movie, man. <laughs> um, uh, this movie... All right. First things first. Let me talk about this because I want to get this off my chest. This is the first time Adam Devine or Divine, yeah. or whatever way you want to call it, say his name, Adam, for Adam Divine. This is the first time he has been a nice guy, nice guy, and not a douchebag, nice guy. And everything he ever is in, workaholics, righteous gemstones, uh, pitch perfect, he's always the douchebag cracking wise jokes. And in this, he was finally the, Oh my God, look at me. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, cracking wise jokes. I, I, I'm and, gonna, I'm gonna... and I loved it. I loved him as that. And stop being a smart ass every fucking time in everything. Like I never thought he could play a nice guy ever. Uh, I fucking hated this movie. You hated it? I yeah, loved it. I hated it. Dude, I watched this with three other people, and we laughed our fucking asses off. I didn't laugh once. I, we laughed like 20 times at minimum. Oh, at God. minimum. I, 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 couldn't at, stand, I couldn't stand this thing at all. At all. <laughs> like, people were saying pause it when they went to the bathroom because they didn't want to miss one part of this movie. And it was me rated R. I thought it was so safe too. Like, well, yeah, Ray, already coming. We talked. We talked about already coming last week, which was fantastic. And this. Mm -hmm. And this one, I don't even know why. 
It, except for uh, they say fuck a lot. Yeah, they say fuck a lot. I guess. You yeah, know, like they say fuck a lot. Man, I didn't like this movie. Like, I was. I you was, didn't like this movie. It, it, it left the the worst taste in my mouth. I was after it was over. I didn't like it. Why? Because it's. It was so cute. I didn't find it funny, man. I didn't. It was like so adorable. Michael Roker was like the cutest drunk alcoholic <laughs> detective. He was just adorable. Uh, Pierce Bronze with that fake fucking uh, Irish. He's accent. Irish. Dude. He's from that Ireland. Is, whatever. That fucking uh, that accent sucked. Dude, he's from <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> I don't know what, he, what, what else you want from that. The, the, the that's the only thing that sucked about the movie was his accent. Um, him and Ellen played played uh, parents perfectly well. Adam was just. Uh, him playing off of Pierce was amazing. Okay, I will tell you one thing that did make me laugh. The Joe Gordy says, uh, "You're very attractive." I don't, I don't mean that a compliment. <laughs> like that one. That one. <laughs> there was, um, gosh, what did he say? The uh, I I can't remember because that's usually why I write things down, which I won't, I still won't be able to do for a couple weeks. Yeah. But um, but like there was. Like one part, okay. Adam's parents, played by Richard Kind and Julie Haggerty. If you don't know Julie, she is like one of the best comedic actresses in the history of man. She did Airplane One and Two, like was one of my favorites in that. She was, uh, she was in a Christmas Story Christmas. She played the mom after that actress uh, retired from act- acting. Um, she is just a delightful and her ribbing back and forth, like them playing like the dumbest set of parents you ever met in your life. Like they were just so dumb. They didn't know anything. I couldn't stand this movie. I, I hated it. I really did. Why did you hate it so I didn't much? I think it was funny. I thought it was you you're not you're saying you hate it. Why? Oh, okay. Give me a why. Uh, okay. If you don't give me one why, then you're bullshitting. You're in a bad attitude mood, and you just didn't no, like no. I just don't like this mood. mood. Okay, the writing is fucking terrible. It is an awful, to terribly written movie. One, it, the jokes to me didn't land at all. And I understand if you're fucking high as shit, maybe you like it, but I wasn't, and I don't watch movies high for the first time, and I don't think you do either. Uh, I, no. I, I, uh, I thought the best thing in this movie. I'd pick one is Pierce Brosnan because I don't see Pierce Brosnan play this character ever, uh, and Michael Rooker just being in it, right? But to me, the writing was bad. I, I thought the dude, these are the same people that brought you Tooth Fairy, Tooth Fairy Two, <laughs> and also also the Wrong Missy, which I didn't like either. We yeah. put it that way. So, and, and guys, just so you know, this is a Happy Madison production. So. Right then, like you can sort of see where it's going if you have an idea. Oh yeah, and I forgot you hate Adam Sandler. I don't hate okay, Adam Sandler. I just like I didn't make a good movie oh, in years. Oh, makes so much sense. Didn't make a good movie in years. Unless you count. Oh, unless you count, he uh, makes a good movie uh, every fucking year. R- Dude, do you like you liked you liked the wrong Missy? What you liked the wrong Missy? Yes. Okay. You well, know I like the wrong Missy. Okay. Well, the last movie he made was when he acted was Uncut Gems. He was great in that. But I don't like this movie. I didn't think it was funny. I'm sure. I'm sure. I understand why people could like it, but it wasn't for me. I didn't like it. This is yeah. A, okay. All it's right. Uh, everybody at home, for me. let me let me. Uh, Chris has a black heart. No, no, and I just didn't like this movie. He, he kills small animals for fun. I do not, dude. I just I didn't. Sure. Talk. How many eggs did he collect this week? Eggs? What are you talking about? Yeah, eggs are small animals. No, you kill them to I eat did, them. Kill you. Oh, oh, you mean no, dude? <laughs> these are they're, they're pre birds. They're proto birds. They're not. They're not fertilized. Um, but they're I have, pre birds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're pre birds. No, it's, don't play free bird. Play pre birds. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Uh, so, but yeah. I'm sorry you didn't like this. I thought it was really funny. I didn't think so. Uh, uh, the, 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 com- the comedic time, I really think the comedic uh, between Pierce Bronson and Adam, I think Adam stole every scene he was in and literally just was killing this movie. I thought it was fun. By any means, do I think this is going to get an Oscar or even nominated for anything? No, it's not. It's not going to get nominated for anything. But guess what? That's okay. 
sometimes it's okay to not be nominated for stuff. Okay. You know? Yeah, I just I didn't like it, man. I thought it was I thought it was lame. I you, you're lame because you you just don't like funny people. No, no, no. I sat down. I was ready. I was ready to get into it. And I was like, I'm not, this is not doing it for me at all. At all. This is gonna be an STD for me, honestly. Oh my god. You here, already, what's here going you go. on? What's, what's, oh, I got it just for you. Just for here. Here you go. It, it's it, it's my it's a piece of my uh, scab yes. from my shoulder. It oh, just wait, fell off. Oh, is it from when like you broke it? Also, it just like scabbed you up, or? Yeah, dude, I was I was in like a wife beater. Uh, oh shoot, I don't know if it's called a wife beater. What is it called? Tank top. Yeah, hey, tank top works. Yeah. Okay, tank top. It was a tank top, and when I fell, and that's all that stuff. But anyway, back to the movie. Movie was awesome. It was great. I hate Chris, it. give it a rating. Oh, a two point five. Some two point five. Yeah, some gosh. Degree. Chris hates Pierce Bronston, Michael Roker, and Adam Devine. No, I, like, I like I like I like he Pierce Bronston like and Adam Roker. And he hates Adam Sandler. Don't let him. I don't, he doesn't even like Little Rel Howery. He was fucking no, I, me. He doesn't even like Dean Winters. That was in this. Oh, dude, he hates them all. He, Dean Winters. You know who he is? He's Mayhem from from those commercials. I know exactly who Dean Winters <laughs> is. Anyway. Um, I'm going to get a 3.5. I thought Are it was funny. Kidding? It was, yeah. I, again, not a four. I didn't say it was a, a really, really good movie, but I think it's a funny movie. And I think it's one of those that, uh, you can just throw on and have a good time and have a good laugh with, uh, Chris, on the other hand, doesn't like laughter or smiles. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much a, a sort of, okay. But, um, I'm getting a 3.5 though. Okay. We need to be able to do quotes again. That's just a couple weeks from now. What's that? Quotes will happen in a couple weeks, you think? What will happen in a couple quotes. weeks? Quotes. I have no idea. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's, right now, it's hard to, for me to even hold, like, anything in this hand, and you're just like, what will quotes Well, I, I saw you hold it for a second. I saw you hold the, you had this, um, this, the what's that called when you to clean Oh, yeah, the. The shirt thing, yeah, and the then sh- I realized how much it hurt, and I put it down. <laughs> yeah, yes, okay. yes, that thing. Yeah, okay. the roller thing. Okay. Yeah, the roller thing. thing. Okay, all right. Um, all I'm running right. some What's the audience score for the outlaws? You don't care. I'm asking you. Oh, oh, I thought you. Oh, so you care about something now? Okay. No, I'm care about doing the podcast with you. That's what I care about. Oh, uh, okay. You don't care about the movies, though. Why don't you care about the movies? What did the movies do to you? I care about movies. They're, they're my problem. I don't. I don't. I don't they're know probably my favorite thing. Out there with music. Um, I bet you do. Uh, I bet you the audience score is seventy eight percent. Forty two percent. Oh, 42? Jesus Christ! I, I, were you high when you watched this? Like, really? Like, how did you like this movie? I was. I was. I love this movie. This movie made me happy in my butthole. Okay, what is the audience? It was a part, it was Chris Corp, sorry, for the Outlaws and Rotten Tomatoes. Sixty-two. Twenty-two. Shut the fuck up, man. Jesus. Maybe I just like dumb comedies. Chris <laughs> Consensus is his. With the guys this talented, the Outlaws can't help provide some laughs. But they're too far and few far too few far between to make up for the movies. Derivative sitcom worthy setup. Now, uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read a good review and a bad review. Okay. No. Uh, okay. Now, Norbert Lasky of the Chicago Reader said, "Divine manages to make unapologetic dweebishness charming. The movie is elevated by a mishmash of wonderful character actor bit parts." Okay. And this is a uh, this bad one is from Robert Levin of Newsday. He gives it a 1.5 out of four. He says, "Everything you know about this movie can be gleaned from its title." That's really a good sign. And that's uh that's the outlaws. You guys can find it on Netflix. It's like it's number one on Netflix right now, isn't it? It's number one or two. It's number one right now because <laughs> it's an awesome movie for good people that <sighs> like humor. <laughs> uh, Neil's pissed that I didn't like this movie. That's okay. Well, that's what we do. Uh, the no, podcast. I'm not pissed. It's cool, man. You cannot like funny stuff. I get it. You don't like funny stuff. I mean, you you it's understandable. I, I understand why you think. Uh, it seems like most, I mean, whatever. 
I'm glad you like to move. Huh? I'm glad you found funny things in this movie. I just didn't. I know. I'm, I'm happy that you get to take joy away from people's lives. <laughs> I'm not even joking for anyone's lives, dude. I just didn't like. Exactly I didn't like this. Com- you're yeah. like, I, are you you're s- like, man. I think you're starved. I, I hate to- this movie so much. I got to make sure everybody hates. Are it. you starved to comedy? Is that why this did it for you? <laughs> like, like I don't understand. I was not starved to comedy. I had a great time watching a funny movie. Unlike some people, <laughs> I was. Uh... All right, guys. If you like, I mean, you guys can check it out. We it really you go watch first ten minutes and decide if you like it from then, because that's what I'll tell you what it is. Um, because whatever. Um, but if you get, but you know, uh, Chili Me Rose by the Stairs. <laughs> um, why don't you? Uh, are you ready for uh, news, dude? Can you put news up, or are you still upset? Oh, definitely, definitely. I have news up. That's why I was taking so long and acting like I was so upset. Yes, I got news ready. <laughs> this is the Movies That Don't Suck and some of the news. I'm going to read a bunch of stuff to Chris. He's going to act like he hasn't already heard it. And then we're going to make jokes about it because that's what we do. That's what we do. We, 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 uh, we talk about our dicks, too. <laughs> we also just go in there. We're like, uh, all right. All right. You talked about my penis a lot. Too much, dude. honestly. Yeah, you're so, right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's just get done. It's the biggest news of the entire week. Everybody knows it. You know it. I know it. What's the biggest news of the week? Come on. You know that the uh, actors are going to strike? No, not that. It's Wolverine gets the yellow (laughs) costume. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, I, I, it looks great. It looks great. I honestly, I heard that also that Chang Ting has been on set to me play Gambit. Yes, yes, yes. Supposedly. <laughs> yeah, it's a great, it's great, great dude. I love it. Last week, actually. What happened? That he was going to be part of the movie. Oh, God damn. Wolverine in yellow. Doesn't it just make you happy? <laughs> just makes you happy it makes you happy right like it it, 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 it your dick hard right i mean no but kind of right thank you for asking a little bit i mean why do you always ask about my dick it's a little bit right (laughs) okay okay your friend your camera's out of focus by the way (laughs) what your camera's out of focus there you go. Everything popped back in. It's probably because I have 20 different okay. tabs open. Okay. Right. Let's go through some of these real quick so we can uh, get rid of some of these tabs. All <laughs> right. Did you know every state uh, every state hates a different Marvel movie? They hate one or they like one? Yep, they hate it. Okay. And do you know what the number one hated movie across the United States in the Marvel MCU is? Tell me, I want to know. What's the what's the hated what's the hated uh, movie across the state? Of the country? What's the most hated movie you think in your site? Fuck, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of a bad Marvel movie, and they're not that many because they're all pretty damn good, um, most of them. Uh, but I don't know. Tell me. The number one most hated movie in the state of Kansas, where you're at, oh. is Incredible Hulk. That makes sense. <laughs> What, Captain Marvel? People hate Captain Marvel. It's not a bad movie. Is Captain Marvel. That's weird. I like Captain Marvel. I know. And I can't believe Doctor Strange is the most hated one in my state and in Missouri. Well, I'm surprised the Eternals is up there because it's not a bad movie either. Yeah. Well, the Eternals is, uh, yeah, in two different. Thor and Love and Thunder was hated on. But that's just, I don't know, man. That's weird. Okay. Iron Man 3 is up there, but I thought there'd be more up there. What's your favorite movie of those uh, Haiti movies? I love Captain Marvel, man. I'm a big fan of Captain Marvel. I can't wait for the, the for the Marvels. I saw, I can't, I saw that preview. Yeah. I mean, people are hating Secret Invasion, too, and I'm fucking loving the hell out of that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the Nick Fury show. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway, Kevin Smith hosted a screening of Batman's Forever, the Schumacher cut. <laughs> yes, it was... So apparently it's not the final edit. It's just him playing around editing with the stuff that they, that he has mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So some of the 
background music is like they stole Danny Elfman's. Now the opening with a sequence involving Two-Face at Arkham Asylum, offering more of the Riddler going insane and featuring what surely is the highlight of the movie. The cap, the Cape Crusader coming face-to-face with a giant bat. And this version also explores more of Batman's psychology issues, uh, gives future Marvel Stewart, uh, uh, Stalwart, uh, John uh, Farfo a little more screen time and offers a few other surprises for those familiar with the previous Bat movies. Now, us in No Man's Land, at Smod Castle, they'll still be doing it on July 1st, a marathon of all of, of all six movies, but uh, it'll be some time before they have a finished product out to all of us no, normal people in the world. Okay. We need the chance of uh, us getting the Schumacher cut like on like HBO is. Uh, I don't know. I, it says it'll be a while, though. Mm. Mm. I'll watch it, though. Because they got to work on all the music and stuff I think, like cause that. Because honestly, I, to be honest, all I, right. I, now, think that, here's a... I think with the second movie, I can do whether I can do Forrest Gump by heart, but I think I can also do Batman for by heart, too. <laughs> when it comes to, like, free setting movies. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. The duo that everybody loves, the directing duo, is back together again, reuniting for a new film project. Though you know them because they did things like Blood Simple, okay. Fargo, oh, yeah. Raising Arizona, uh-huh. The Big Lebowski, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, The One, The Only, The Cohen Brothers will be reuniting for an upcoming film. What's it called? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, you know how they do this shit. Now. <laughs> you know what? It, you know how they do this shit now. Okay. All right. Uh, Gladiator Two and Mortal Kombat Two has stopped production. Oh, because they didn't finish writing it, I guess. I don't know. No, because the actors are now going on strike. The, is Deadpool done though? That's what I want to know. Not yet, but <laughs> I'm. But it's being filmed in a different location than America. Oh, I, I just Alba is eager and going to be making a bunch more of the Luther movies uh, with the Netflix, saying that there's going to be a bunch more after the release of Luther, the Fallen Son. Um, I guess I should go watch Luther. I guess so too. <laughs> like, have it, you ever watched Luther? No, I heard it's great though. I heard it's really good. I heard that's I like know, right. I think I need to watch Luther. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Purge Six is in the works, and Frank Grillo will. Be on a mission across a broken America, which is what the movie is going to be like. Okay, well, we saw I'm that down. last one, the last purge, right? Yeah, with yeah. Frank, yeah. and he was great in it. And yeah. so I'll I'll definitely watch it. Okay. The remake of Spider Baby has done. Spider Baby. The Spider Baby, a 1940s movie. I think it was 1941, if I remember correctly. Now this is the way to do it, people. Go find movies this fucking old. 19, uh, 1967 was the original. 1967. Go find movies like this that none of us know about and freaking remake those. Stop remaking because <laughs> some else just got, I, I like Goodfellas is being rumored to be in remakes. The, no, they don't need a remake. Remote. It's already no, great. You don't need to make Goodfellas. Screw you guys. Stop remaking movies that we all know and love. But this one. It has Ron Chaney of House of the Wolfman, Toolbox Murders, Beverly Washburn of Old Yeller, and Tales of Frankenstein. The, um, yeah, it's going to be cool. Okay. It, it looks like it's just going to be awesome. So, cool. Make some classic horror movies that none of us know about. Stop with the freaking remaking of everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, rumors has been leaked. And beyond the Spider Verse, the next installment, mm-hmm. the villains for the new Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse will be none other than the Sinister Six. Oh, okay, go through all six of them. Doc, well, I mean, there's like 20 different versions. Oh, yeah? Are there? Okay. Yeah, but the original, I think, is Doc Ock, Electro, Mysterio, Sandman, uh, the Lizard, 
and Green Goblin, I think. Okay. I think. I don't know if that's the original comic book. Um, do, 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 do. But, I mean, you got them all now. I mean, they're all out there. Okay. Cool. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then... I would love to see the Sinister Six. Oh, 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 oh. There's two people rumored to be in the new Deadpool movie. So, I mean, we already got a rumor, but we don't know for sure, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so who are they? Uh, did, was rumored Channing Tatum? Was that the one of the rumors? Yes. Channing Tatum is also the rumor because no one has confirmed that yet. Okay, who's the second one? Okay, no, these are two other people. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Ben Affleck. What would he play? And weird. Jennifer Gardner. Okay, so Jennifer Gardner will play Electra and Daredevil. <laughs> right. There you okay. go. We might be getting Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner as Daredevil and Electra. Now, is Ben Affleck the best Daredevil? That's not true, right? No, no, no Charlie Cox is okay. by far. He's the best Electra. That, that <laughs> fucking Daredevil, the TV show on Netflix, is ridiculously awesome. Even if you don't like comic book stuff. No, no, yeah. We immediately watched all of it. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I watched it all in like five minutes. <laughs> it was like just done. Uh, Tim Curry reveals there's another alternate ending that would never put out there from Clue. There were like six of them, right? Yes, there's four. There's okay. four. Okay. And they're put in each different one. There's another one. He goes, where I just ran around the house and killed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't funny enough, uh, they noted, so they didn't put it in there. <laughs> but I would have loved to That's see that. That's a classic movie, right? Like the, that clue is a classic movie. Uh, Mantis is now jumping over to the VCU. Okay. <laughs> Palm, uh, Palm Clement. I can't say her last name. Palm Clementoff. Maybe Klimatov, thank you. Yeah. Uh, is in talks with James Gunn to join the DCU. Don't know what she's going to be, but of well, course. she was just in the new. I, I, I actually had seen that new Mission Impossible early, and she's great in it. I'll say that. Nice. So, do you like blue creatures that make really, really, really long movies and wish you could eat just like them? You can now with the. The uh, the Avatar 2 cooking book containing over 50 recipes from Pandora. Guess who's not gonna be making this? This guy right here. Who's too thin? I'm not gonna be. No, you're gonna you're gonna have to make them. What's in like, Yeah, the, the Avatar official cookbook of Pandora. And dude, it looks like just like everything that you can find to put berries and avocados. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like just from what I'm looking at. Uh let's see. Uh, among the striking settings the cookbook promises to bring your kitchen are the Hallelujah Mountains High Camp and the Callison Cave Refuge. I don't know. Whatever. Right, whatever, yeah. No. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Next. All right. 28 years later. What? What? 28 days later. 28 weeks later, 28 years. I will see that because I like both those movies. I like 20 days later. And I like 20 Danny years later. Boyle, Alex Garland said they have been talks of doing a 28 years later Do it. sequel called. And Killian Murphy is all about it. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, we. And so definitely. Is bring there, him back. It, honestly, I'll be honest. Is there someone. I, I love Killian Murphy and I have almost anything he's in. Do you, I mean. I'll, I'll, never mind. I just want I want him back. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, the writer, you might know him as Akiva Goldsman, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, said, hey, I'm on strike right now. My pens are down, so nothing is coming out. But as soon as I'm allowed to write again, when I'm allowed to write, and I already begun Legend Two, the movie, so I am Legend Two, yeah. and Francis, he already wrote that, which will be with uh, the Lawrence Fishburne movie. Okay, yeah. And the other one, Either. That he already wrote oh. but hasn't typed it up yet. Oh yeah. 
is Constantine 2. Dude. 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 So, uh, uh, why don't we get that writer strike over, you motherfuckers? Uh, I mean, I want to, I want to, I mean, the right, the, we need to talk to the streaming services. They need to fucking do something, you know? They need to do something now. Uh-huh. Now. Um, just so you guys know, Patrick Wilson has confirmed that there has been reshoots of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I'm guessing to make it more about James Gunn's place and to keep the Momoa as Aquaman ever since the end of Flash. Tom Cruise would really like people to stop spreading fucking rumors about him. The one rumor he hates more than anything is that you can't make eye contact if you're working on the set with Tom Cruise. He's heard this since literally the beginning of time. He's like, um, one of the weirdest ones I ever heard was, uh, don't look me in the eye. I've heard it back all the way back to Mongolia in The Last Samurai. He's heard these rumors. He will look you in the eye. He buys people cakes every year. It's called the I, Tom Cruise cake. I'm sure he's, and I would love I'm sure he's super nice. I'm sure he's super nice. Uh, and honestly, I'm, I'm sort of getting on the Tom Cruise cake. Like I said, I just saw the last Mission Impossible, and um, we'll talk about we it. We talk about that. We'll talk about okay, that Okay, fine. I'll talk about it. Um, yeah, I mean, just don't go to church with him. Anyway, <laughs> talking about church. Talking about church, Mel Gibson describes the Passion of the Christ sequel as an acid trip. <laughs> it's a massive undertaking. You can't do it lightly and quickly. You have to really consider what it is. I have two scripts, and one of them is very structured and very strong script and kind of more of what you'd expect. And the other is like an acid trip because you're going into, the, into other realms and stuff. I mean, you're in hell. And you're watching the angels fall. It's like crazy as fuck. He said crazy as fuck when talking about the, the sequel of Passion. Because yes, it's because it's goddamn fucking Mel. Do you want to see the Passion of the Christ too? Yeah. I saw course. the first one in theaters. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis would like you to know that uh, filming of Freaky Friday 2 has come to a close because she is not going to film until everything go- comes back. Okay, so uh, Anthony Kerrigan has joined Superman Legacy. Uh, if you don't know him, he's the one that plays um, he plays uh, Zaza in uh, Gotham. I uh, can't remember what else he plays. He's always a creepy guy. Um, but he'll be playing Metamorphio in the upcoming uh, Superman Legacy movie. And it's not just him. Uh, they have added a bunch of characters, including including mm-hmm. Green Lantern, going to be played by nine other than the captain himself, Nathan Fillion. Really? Right? Interesting. He's going to play the Guy Guardian version, okay. not uh, Hal Jordan. Okay. So he's going to play Hal Gordon. Um, then we got Eddie, um, Eddie, uh, Edda, Edda Gothica, who's from Transformers <laughs> The Last Night, and she's going to be playing Hawk Girl. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm down for all bring of in, that. Bring Please. it in. Yeah. Bring it on, motherfuckers. Um, James Gunn is stating that he's going to try to make the movies more one offs, but connected. Okay. So then if you don't go to the theater, you don't have to see the entire DCU to understand what's going on. I'm I into that. I get that. Yes. Um, Adam Driver's post-Star Wars movie-like movie, uh, The Bomb, the 65. Yeah, it's, it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. I don't think it will. Yep, it's on Netflix. And it just now today beat out the outlaws for the number one slot. Are you going to watch it? Cause I knew, you, I knew you were pissed about it. You're like, I don't want to see this shit. I don't want to see this shit still. And I guess I'll go watch it. Whatever. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if it's free, it's free. Yeah, it's free. Uh, the Emmys were, um, not, the nominated of the Emmys were nominated this week. 
Um, you know, ones like Ted Lasso, of yeah. course, The Last of Us, White Lotus, Succession. Um, snubs that people were pissed about was Love and Death, the Steve Martin, uh, Selena Goez show, Only Murders in the, uh, building. Only Murders in the Building. Uh, didn't get anything. Saturday Night Live didn't get anything. Uh, so there's a lot that people are pissed about, whatever. Uh, ones that people are kind of confused about is like Prey. Wait, the, the Prey, the movie, the, the, the Predator movie? Yeah, it, it's a TV movie. No, it's not, that's not a TV movie. It's yeah, a movie because movie. it's on Netflix. Because it's on Netflix. But that's like saying that. But their Same movies... thing with Beef. Beef is on the the, the okay. Well, that's that's that's, on... that's, a TV, that's a TV show. So I love beef. The little snub though, I fucking love beef personally. It's bullshit. Yeah, I mean, by any means, the best writing for a comedy series is between the bear, jury duty, Barry, and I'm, I, that'll probably go to the bear. But like seriously, I don't know. Whatever. I, love, I love the bear. Dude. I, the bear's. The I'll shit. talk more. We'll talk more about that when the wins come out. Because okay, you know nominations. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> um. Great, you're nominated. Woo! Yeah. Actor strike begins as uh 15 hours ago. President a- a- attacks Hollywood studios. Um, a strike by the say SAG or S A G A F A F T R A is now on its way. I didn't, I didn't uh, know. Came with, did you know Fred Dresser was ahead. the head of the, that? I yes. Didn't know, I didn't know that until just today. Yes. Naming. So now all the actors are on strike as well. Uh, Bob were... Eager. Bob Eagers decides that he wants to cut back on Star Wars and Marvel movies that they're not necessary. Don't need as many as the, that are coming out. How's uh, Bob, Bob, where you at? Where, where's the camera? Bob, fuck you, buddy. Right there, buddy. <laughs> fuck you. Just because everyone doesn't hit out of park, guess what? Every TV sitcom doesn't hit out of the park. You don't stop sitcoms. Every movie doesn't hit out of the park. You don't stop making movies. Just put a little more love and care into them. Yeah, Bob, I guess. Yep, yep. Uh, James Cameron confirms, accidentally confirms, accidentally. the Adelita Battle Angel sequels are on the way. So we do Battle Angel. Okay, we would do like sequels with an S. I'm working in, uh, I'm, I'm on Avatar. I'm working in Wellington and Los Angeles. And I'm also in Austin working on like an Adelita Battle Angel films. So it, do- it just doesn't make sense for us anymore to really be in Hollywood. That's what he said. Accidentally just replying to someone's answer. About Alita Battle Angel. Okay, I'll watch them. You know? I, I'll, the, we're going to watch them. There's nothing. The guy, Owen the, Wilson and Woody Harrelson is the star in a crime thriller called Lips Like Sugar. Based on the true story, will be directed by Grammy winner Brantley. I can't say his last name. How's this Brantley spell? Cortese. How do you spell it? Cortese. It's almost like Guerrero. It's G U T. I E R R E Z. Guterres. 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 But Lips Like Sugar set is coming off as a coming of age crime thriller that takes place in 84 uh, during the Olympic Games in Los Angeles, loosely based on a true story. The premise involves follows the lives of two young teenage girls, uh, completely different lifestyles. Again, the culture background and punk and skate worlds. Of Los a- and of West LA, however, while the rest of the city is completely occupied with the Olympics, one of the girls suddenly goes missing. The, their fathers, uh, both retired detectives, find lives intertwined and set out to find them before it's too late. So I'm guessing Owens and Harrelson will play the detectives. Yeah, uh, Owen, he has the same haircut in every movie, so whatever. Yeah, he'll, I will say, oh my gosh, where did she go? Wow. But, um, wow! Uh, but wow! Uh, this is so stressful. Wow! Uh, yeah. I, I just, anyway, I I don't know when we'll get that. Now that the wire strike happens, when we see in five years, <laughs> you know, like I I don't know what's gonna happen, dude. Has it ever happened where both the actors and writers are on strike? Has it ever happened like that? I don't know. Hmm. We'll find out. <laughs> 
Uh, Tron 3 adds Star Wars and Gotham Star, not even Star Wars and Gotham Star, also Shameless Star, one of my favorite actors in the last 20 years, uh, the great Cameron Monaghan. Okay. He plays Joker in the Gotham series. He's the reason Star Wars has any good video games because oh. he is the guy in in not Fallen Order. It's is it Fallen Order? Yeah, Fallen Order is the newest. What, what is it called? What's what's it called? Fallen Order. That's right. Yeah, Fallen Order Survive uh, Survivor or whatever. They're, they're fun. They're fun. The, oh yeah, that guy. That guy is now in Tron Three. Yay. And last but not least, because this goes right into the next movie. Now Dawn, the eldest actor to ever act in a Disney movie as a leading actor, the one, the only, Harrison Ford now takes it with the render tender age of 81 Why he was filming Dial of Dynasty. Okay. Speaking of, oh, yeah, so is that all the news you have for me? That's all the news. That is the movies that don't suck and something news. Now, I want to hear that great Indiana theme music. Give me the Raiders March. You you didn't tell me to get that. I didn't get that. Yeah, I did. I messaged you yesterday. I'm sorry. I don't have it. Oh my gosh! You are the evilest. Can't you do, 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 do you care? Why don't you just do it with your mouth real quick? No, I. I'm, you want me to sing parts to a uh, song? Ba, 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 da, right, come on. So Indiana Jones and Dow Destiny. Are you pulling up on your phone? Is there anything? Are you pulling up on your phone? What? No, what are you talking about, Chris? I don't do things like that. Why are you always like being mean to me? What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, before we get taken off the air for yeah. right, I mean, I think 20 seconds is legally yeah, yeah. play. Right? So James Mangle directed this one. Uh, he directed such things as Walk the Line, a uh, Four versus Ferrari, and Logan in Identity and Girl Interrupted and uh, Copland. Uh, so this is the first movie of Nina Jones that was not directed by Steven Spielberg. It was written by uh, David Kep, Jez Butterworth, and John Henry Butterworth. This stars... The fucking amazing Harrison Ford. You are going to die. To die. A few of our bridges, Helena. Um, I think because my mother died and he can't talk about it. Also, uh, this also stars Karen Allen, John Rhys Davies, and Antonio Banderas as Ronaldo. Doctor, please relax. I am pussy boots. Also, Sala. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily Sala's this. And also Mads Mikkelsen as a uh, fuck. There's nothing. In, you still should, should have in the movie that they that had to actually open up other pages to, to find his name in here. Mads Mikkelsen is it? I imagine what you see and learn touches Dr. everything. Father. Yeah, and um, why don't you really read the story on for this one, guys? It's fucking Indiana Jones. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, okay, I can read it. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Experience the realm. The re- oh. Sorry, wrong. One, two, wrong. three. Experience the return of a legendary hero, Indiana Jones, in the fifth installment of this beloved swashbuckling series of films. Finding himself in a new era, approaching retirement, Indy wrestles with fitting into a world that seems to have outgrown him. But as the tentacles of an all-too-familiar evil return to form of an old rival, Indiana must do don his hat and pick up his whip once more to make sure an ancient and powerful artifact doesn't fall into the wrong hands. It belongs in a museum. 
<laughs> but, it belongs in the museum. Oh, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. So, um, uh, this is the longest Indiana Jones film, the two and a half hours long. Uh, I think the first one, I think the second one is two hours fifty minutes, maybe. Mm-hmm. But this is a fun movie. This is a great movie. Mm-hmm. All right, and the reason why people won't think it's great, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. And I, I know, I know what it, this is. All right. It's those member berries, guys. All right. <laughs> And we're talking now, this is the bad side of the member berries yeah. for you guys. And this is why. And this is what I'm going to say. You're going to this movie expecting Raiders of the Lost Ark, expecting Temple of Doom, expecting Late Last Crusade. All right. Those are three movies made three decades ago, if not more. But can we talk about how good he is at 81, though? Yeah, and that's what you need to realize. That one, this movie made made it about time, right? Mm-hmm. And the reason they made it about time, because that's where we're at now. It is like about, he's getting old. Yeah. He's old. He can't run across trains. He can't jump off of freaking buildings anymore. He can't go out of an airplane in a freaking, you know, in a in a floatable device that hits the snow and goes down until you, you know, like he can't do that shit no more, guys. He's eighty. But and they even make it very clear. But they did a good job of making us feel like. So one of the things I thought was I was really impressed with this movie. Is that it does feel like an Indiana Jones film, even though it's not seen as work. I got that feeling I get when watching oh, yeah. an Indiana Jones film, you know? Yeah. Um, and by any means, it was a great way. Because, like, uh, Harrison Ford in an interview with Conan O'Brien even actually said this. He goes, I don't need to make another one. He goes, This told the end of my story that I wanted it to be. You know, I wanted it to be like that. In just, that way. just so you guys know, they do explain Mutt's absence, absence in this movie in the best yeah. way possible. Yeah, they do. In the best way possible, you can describe a movie yeah. or a character that's missing. But, like, literally, guys, okay, uh, let's just, let's break it down. Okay. One, one, uh, him, Harrison Ford playing opposite of... Uh, Hugo Orbridge. Yeah. Uh, Phoebe, uh, who is Helena, who plays his goddaughter, I believe. Yep, yep. I don't know if that's goddaughter. really much of a spoiler or whatever, but yeah, plays his goddaughter. Um, the two of them, I thought, had great camaraderie. Yeah, good, good, good chemistry. Good chemistry. Good chemistry. I thought they were great. Um, Antonio Banderas shows up as basically a comedy character. <laughs> let's just be honest. He was a slapstick. He was there's more of a cameo yeah. than I. That, I don't know why they bill him third. When mm-hmm. it was like literally just a cameo. Yeah, I you know I really like Saul showing up in this. I really did. I was really happy to see Saul Saul in this one because he's I mean he's my favorite part of the Last Crusade. Honestly, so seeing him in this, I was happy. Uh, honestly, uh, oh oh oh. Oh, do I have the papers? Oh, yes. Do I got the papers? Yes, I got them today. Run. Now I've got the papers right here. I just finished reading it. Run. It, uh, what did you say? The other said, I said run. <laughs> anyway, yes, one of my favorite scenes in The Last Crusade. Anyway, um, Tonio Banderas, great fucking popped up as a great comedic character. Uh, it looked like he had fun and blew it right out of the water. Um, now, Mads. Mads. I mean, if you're going to get anybody better to play a Nazi, <laughs> you got the two guys. You got Mads, and then you got uh, Toby Jones. Oh, Toby Jones was a good guy. Actually. Yeah, he was Basil. Basil yeah. Even though he, he, he was from the Nazis in, yeah. uh, in the MCU. Yeah, yeah he was. <laughs> but, in the, in, but in the Indiana universe, he is not. Yeah, um, Mads was great as a, as a villain. Mm-hmm. Um, you want Indy to fight? If you want Indy to fight anyone, you want to be a Nazi. So it's good to see him in this. Uh, and it, you know, people are some people like it, some people don't. I'm of I I didn't hate the Crystal Skull movies. I didn't hate those. But I, no, I didn't hate the Crystal Skull. I hated the CGI. Yeah, and what did you think? And let's just be one hundred percent honest about that. And that's the thing that also a little bit took out of this movie. The de aging. Like, look, dude. 
No, it wasn't just the de aging. It wasn't the de aging. That didn't really bother me that much. Mm-hmm. It's just when you can tell it's CGI when like they're doing certain things. I don't want to point it out. So if people haven't seen it, then mm-hmm. they they'll be looking for it, you know. But um, but that's the thing about it. I don't think any of the Indiana Jones ever should ever be done with any CGI. No. This... Like, do CGI, yeah. Like, I mean, like, in Raiders of the Lost Ark, when they open up the Covenant of the Ark, you know, like, <laughs> you know, that's understandable why some scenes need to be CGI. But then there's parts where it's just kind of like, eh, I don't know if that really needed to be CGI. It could have gone practical effects. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of this one has practical effects. And uh, Harrison Ford... He has some fucking abs at 81. That abs I'll never have on it. Honestly, like he looked fucking great for me, dude. And yeah, and this is the other thing that upsets me is uh, about the new Indiana Jones movies, uh, mm-hmm. Dial of Destiny and Kingdom Skull. All right, um, Crystal Skull, whatever. Um, the um, problem with them is they don't take time with a scene. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, okay, um. All right, in this movie, they're running on the trains or whatever. That took, like, what, 10 minutes? There was a 10-minute scene? Yeah. Okay. In Last Crusade, when Indiana was trying to save his dad from the Nazis, Mm -hmm. it was, like, 20 minutes with one tank. Yeah, that's true. And it built the scene, and it showed how human he was. And that was the human factor of Indiana Jones, of him getting his ass beat <laughs> to the point of no return, and then him still winning over that is what makes Indiana Jones awesome. Yeah. And I think they're missing some of that in this one. You, but so you all the actors the they brought that? in. Okay. Huh? You never saw a little bit of the magic? There's yeah, that, that, that's the only thing. It's just like a little bit of the magic. I don't know if that had to do with, you know, Steven Spielberg not being a part of it or whatever. But Steven Spielberg was part of Crystal Skull. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. but I like this movie. I like um, the little surprise twist that they go with at, at the um, in the third act. I like um, what they do there. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just wanted... To be honest, I wanted more. I, I I don't understand why Indiana Jones was never made a TV show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, they did young Indiana Jones, but, but that's I mean, not the same. I, not the okay, same. so uh, what I liked about this movie is when I'll say that Harrison Ford is great. He put he felt like Indiana Jones to me. It's just it's that. Um, mm-hmm. What what maybe I, to me the first half didn't really fit the second half because the first half I didn't really feel the indie that I knew and loved. The second mm-hmm. half I did. And oh yeah, it's, it's, you and I we know that Andy he's a globetrotter, you know, and so having him half the movie in that version in his country, in, in the U.S. It didn't really fit it, and I, it was okay. I didn't hate it. It just didn't. No, I didn't, no, no, I didn't hate it at all. Um, I mean, there's one thing that I did not like, and I and it's kind of a spoiler, so I don't want to say that one mm-hmm. out loud. There's one thing I didn't like. Yeah, and but then reflecting on it. It's like, oh, that makes sense why they did that. They mm-hmm. took that creative path with it, yeah. Because they're they're helping uh, Indiana Jones uh, or Harrison Ford, the actor, I should <laughs> say, was being helped because of it. But um, yeah, definitely, I liked it. I'll put it in my avatar. I, I will like in all all the above. No, to... what, what did you think about his his aging? Like, like to me, I, I felt like. Like he never, he didn't look near as bad as he did as fucking Al Pacino or uh, or fucking um, uh, Rob De Niro did. Like DJ was really good. By the yeah, way. I mean it's it's. I mean he's got Pixar behind him. Yeah, this, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's Indiana Jones. You got Disney behind you on this one, who's literally the leader in technology. Yeah. How many times uh, in de aging scenes? In Indiana, in any of the Marvel movies, were you like, yeah, that looked horrible? Yeah, that's true. It was, it was, uh, when when Captain America, even what twenty years ago, when Captain America was a little runt, how many times during that t- during those scenes did he go? Oh my god, that's obviously CGI. That's so funny because actually that's what I thought of when I saw that. I was like, okay. Um, and also the only I guess it, it was it was fun, dude. I like this movie, and anyone shitting on it, I kind of 
I'm kind of like, what would you, what do you expect like 40 years from now? Like, this is this is why I gave that at the beginning of this conversation. Yeah, yeah. Was that people went in expecting Temple of Doom, expecting the Last Crusade? Guess what, motherfuckers? Dude is a hundred. Yeah. You know, dude is damn damn. Dude is closer to a hundred than he is closer to the age he was when he filmed the last Indiana Jones. Yeah. Like literally, does that not make sense to you? We are lucky that Harrison Ford is still not that he's not senile at the age of eighty. <laughs> that he that he's a good person and he's having fun with it, and that we have technology enough that we can make old and, Indiana. And it was a good movie. Like he was yeah. good in it. He was good in it. He, he had everything I wanted from the Indiana Jones movie in this movie, and I I couldn't ask for more. Honestly, like this is the last one I have because it was a fun movie. I didn't like. I didn't like this like at all. You know, it's yeah. I mean, I I loved it. I liked it. Um, I, you know, I liked it way more than I did the Crystal Skull. Yeah. Oh, I'm it, with you it, on it that too. I'm with you. I'm it, with you on that person. 100. percent It gave me it. If fade made me giddy. I mean, in order, I'd probably if I was making an order mm. of Indiana Jones movies. Of course, first one is always Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Because let's just be honest, that's. Raiders of the Lost. Ark. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's actually almost in order. It's just you got to <laughs> switch to the last two. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I love Raiders of the Lost Ark. Temple of Doom, I love more than anything in I, the entire do, world. I, I do think that probably Temple of Doom is your number one, honestly. Yeah, I love Temple of Doom. It might be Temple of Doom, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, Last Crusade, and then this. But, I mean... Those are epic movies. This is a continuance in that series. I'm glad we got a fifth one. I don't give a fuck what other people say. In fact, right now, 4.5. Fuck you guys right in your goat asses. This will probably be in my top ten easily for the end of the year I'm, I'm because little, I love India. I'm a little bit lower, 4.1, but I still like this movie. I, I think it, it was a perfect way to Indiana Jones. And yeah. I, uh, again, I do think a little bit of the match was lost without Spielberg, but not much. I think that no. having that that second half really made me feel like it's in the movie. You know, you know what? It makes me smile. It makes me smile. And uh... <laughs> all right, man. I'm on RuttenTomatoes.com. You get a four point five, you get four point one. See how you answer for this. Eighty-seven. 88%. You're really close. Damn! Uh, audience says, with plenty of entertaining action and a few surprising twists, Nia Jones and the Dial Destiny ends the series on a high note. All right. What is the critic score for Nia Jones and the Dial Destiny? 78. 69. Wow. Yeah. Critic says, is in only his early adventures, but the nostalgic rust, seeing Harrison Ford back in action, helps Nia Jones and the Dial Destiny Find a few final bits of cinematic treasure. I'm going to do a good review and a bad review. Uh, starting with a good review, which is a 5 out of 5 from Thelma Adams at the AARP Movie Star Grown Ups. Indiana Jones on Dial Destiny is faithful to the original story while retaining the zest action adventure serials of the first half of the 20th century that inspired the modern masterpiece of inspired breathless fun. And here is a review 2 out of 5 from Steven Silver's Splice Today. Poorly written, directed, and he's like executed. A disappointment for everyone involved, and he's fucking wrong. This movie's a fun movie. It's, 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 uh, honestly, I think if it's when it came out in the 80s, it would be up there. You know, but everyone's expecting that, and we, of course, we're not going to get that again. You know, we'll, it, but, Nia Jones is out Destiny. I like this movie. I think if you like Indiana Jones, you'll find a lot to like about this. Do you know what I like about Indiana Jones? What? He has no, he takes no nonsense. That's right. He does it smart, not yeah. dumb. I love there is a kind of a callback a little bit uh, where he, uh, in this movie, where he, uh, it, I think it's in the trailer, so I'm okay, um, where he does his whip and then a whole tail just yeah. stands up yeah. where he comes out. It's like, oh, yeah, I guess the whip's not that scary when you got guns <laughs> for it. <laughs> you know, like that. You bastards. All right, you can find I think we're good. Uh, you can find us yeah, online. We're good. Yeah, you can find us online movies on suck.net. You go to w2mnet.com, w number two mnet.com, and you'll find our podcast along with a bunch of others. We're also on uh, Facebook at facebook.com slash movies on suck. We're on Twitter, MTS Podcast, we're on Instagram, MTS Podcast, we're on Patreon, 
uh, comments slash movies don't suck. We're also on Bonfire. Search movies don't suck. It's something to do. Bonfire comments for merch. Go watch on YouTube. Subscribe. Watch the Facebook of that page. Send us an email at movies don't suck at gmail.com or info at movies don't suck.net. And we're ready to find podcasts for movies don't suck. It's something to do. Neil, what do you do for small businesses? Small businesses will be more than happy to promote you anywhere you want, right? here on our podcast is the big spot mm -hmm. we'll do it right here <laughs> living to our thousands our listeners our millions of followers you can sit here and we will talk all about you and make you sound so good and yummy to all of our people out there not as good as you know hugh jackman in Ugh. a yellow wolverine suit Ugh. but we'll try our best are you good i'm good that's another episode of Movies Don't Suck and Some Do. My name's Neil. And I'm Chris. And don't forget, guys, no matter what adventure that you go on in this wonderful world, make sure that your plane runs on red line fuel. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>